name is Kayana Wayne King and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am clearly whispering because I am doing an ASMR. This is a special ASMR because I have eight juicy pickles in front of me and I'm going to eat all eight while I tell a ghost story. This is going to be a challenge for me because I cannot whisper. I My throat's already hurting from whispering. I hate whispering. My throat's already hurting. I'm just ready to eat. So the pickles in front of me, let me name them for you. That's the packaging. We have a garlic chow. I'm not really excited about that one because I don't like garlic. Well, I like garlic on food, but I don't like garlic on pickle. We have a normal dill pickle. We have a hot mama, which I love because they're hot. We have a hot pickle. I love hot pickles. <laughs> a very juicy pickle. As you can see, it's dripping everywhere. Okay, I'm sorry, but I can't really whisper like that for any longer. It was starting to hurt, so I'm going to talk like this. I also have a very good story for you today. Today we're going to be talking about ghosts. This ghost story takes place in Kansas City, in a house actually. This house has nothing to do with me. I'm not related to this story. I just happen to live in the same town that it happened in. Okay, this is gonna be kind of gross because I'm gonna talk with my mouth full and with food in my mouth. But this is like an eating video, so you're gonna have to deal with it. In this story, it's a house, and now it's not a normal family. In this house, there is a mom, a grandma, and two daughters that are the two daughters of that mom. And in this house, the grandma always believed about spirits, and she would do a lot of praying and a lot of spiritual things around the house, so that they thought that they had a ghost sometimes. The mom and the two children never thought about ghosts. They never thought about ghosts. They never believed in ghosts. They never wanted anything to do with ghosts. Honestly, me either. I think I have a burp. That was a good one. Enough with that pickle. On to the next pickle. That was the big papa. 
And I'm kind of done with the Big Papa, so I'm gonna grab onto something else. Basically, I already lost the challenge of ASMR because I'm, I'm talking. I am gonna try the Sour Sis. In this story, they have one dog. Oh, that's very sour. I'm sorry. This one's actually very gross. I'm not a fan of sour pickles. I'm sorry. Return back to sender. But in this house, there was one dog. This dog... You'll see why I said there was one dog. I'm gonna do the dill pickle as I'm talking. There was one dog. And the mom, the mom and the two daughters, they never believed in ghosts. They didn't believe in anything about it. Until one night, the youngest daughter said that she fell at the, in the middle of the night. She felt the dog jump onto the bed. Looks back and there's no dog on her bed. There's no dog on the bed to be found. The dog is actually in a separate room. You know, minding its business. It's a dill pickle. I'm opening up the hot mama. But yes, this was actually... I'm not going to open up the Hot Mama. I'm going to finish this one because I really like it. I'm getting so distracted. The youngest daughter is very scared, so she goes to bed actually that night. She doesn't tell anyone about this until the next day. The next morning... She wakes up with scratches all over her leg. And not just like, oh, maybe a little dog scratch. They were deep scratches that looked like she could start bleeding. She had bruises all over her legs. It looked like someone had beaten her. Burp. <coughs> that was better. And the mom was very concerned. And they already had a security system. They Everything was locked, so they knew no one else was inside the house. So the mom asked the sister and the grandma if they knew what happened. They didn't know anything. And so the story continues. A few months pass, nothing else happens. The house is a two-story house. So there's the upstairs where all the bedrooms are and the downstairs is more of the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, all of that good stuff. They hear a deep voice and a loud man screaming. They hear a deep voice, loud man screaming, come up here now. All four of them freeze. The dog starts barking. All four of them leave the house. They call 911. When they call 911, 911 literally flies there. They surround the whole house. They check if anyone's leave or anything. There's no windows open. All the windows are locked. So that means the person is still inside the house, which is very weird because the wife's husband is dead. The grandpa is also dead. The grandpa died of old age just a few years ago, and the husband died of cancer. So when the police arrive, they immediately fly into, go running into the house. All the guns are drawn. They're yelling upstairs, hey, come down here. If anyone's down there, you will be hurt or shot or anything. You know, the normal stuff that they yell to people. Someone actually yelled back and said, come and get me. I'm up here. The police do go upstairs. They do a full search of upstairs. Cannot find a thing. Not one person's up there. 
but yet someone's talking. They send the dogs up there. The dogs can't find anything. And so they leave because they cannot find anyone inside the house. There's no sign of anyone in the house. But the police and the family also heard them say, the man say, come up there. The very next night, the little girl said that in the corner of her bedroom, she saw a figure with a sheet over its head. She saw a figure with a sheet over its head in the corner. She was so scared. She said she felt paralyzed when she saw it. So she went to bed. if this was me i wouldn't be in that bed girl ran out of the house screamed kicked i would have done everything the youngest daughter went to bed and she's very young i believe they said she was eight years old so i get it you're scared you just go to bed should i get a hot pickle or the hot mama i think we're going with the hot mama they're both the same. I'm telling you this now because I've, I've had these hot pickles before, so they're both the same. Oh. You can definitely smell the heat coming from it. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's hot. I feel the burning. a nice thick hot pickle that's too hot for me to eat that same night the older daughter got dragged out of bed in the middle of her sleep love that grandma goes upstairs and sees what happened and uh, <coughs> that was a good one as well i'm gonna pour this juice out as well since they're all spilling and i mean might as well since this one's spilling might as well spill them all right so now we have like a plate of pickle juice this is when the grandma gets out an ouija board she gets out sage she gets out a lot of stuff she starts burning stuff, and then she starts playing with the Ouija board and contacting spirits and yelling, telling it to be gone. It was so loud that it woke the mother up. The mother came in there and saw all of this going on. The mom goes in there and is like, what is going on? Like, you guys are keeping me up in the middle of the night. The daughter explains everything. Then the fire alarms go off because of the smoke and everything burning. Now, there's just three of them in the room right now. The baby, well, not the baby, the youngest daughter is in the other room by herself. When the fire alarm goes off, it's just like a normal house alarm. The, like the normal ones that just go beep, beep. The daughter is, the youngest daughter is screaming in her room. The mom rushes to her room to see the daughter in a corner. And... The daughter cannot talk. The daughter, she's literally, the youngest daughter cannot talk. She was so scared. So she's just crying and she falls asleep in the mom's arms. The night passes and we go into the next day. Before we go into the next day, should we eat a different pickle? No, I already ate the pink papa. The sour sis was nasty. I love the hot pickles. I already know that, but like they're too spicy for me to eat. And garlic joe. Um, <laughs> we're gonna do a kosher pickle because, like, why not? Um, yeah. I love the packaging also of these pickles. You guys are like, uh, you're weird. Packaging of a pickle, uh, yeah. This pickle, I love these pickles because also, like, I bought eight of them and they donate their prof some of their profits to the Boys and Girls Club in America. So I think that that's a very cool. Ew, this stinks. I 
I'm scared. This literally stinks. I didn't even bite all the way into it. It tastes like dust. No, we're not eating that. Let's also pour this juice out. The youngest daughter starts to explain, and she explains, there was a man in my room last night. I saw him running around, and he was pulling me around, and he was hitting me, and she had more bruises that morning. He was hitting me, and I was so scared, so I got in the corner and hid. And she got in the corner and hid, and she screamed. And that's when her mom came in there and got her, obviously, last night. And so the mom is kind of like, okay, we need to get out of this house. But that's a lot of money. That's a big process to just get up and move. So the mom is like, okay. She talks to the grandma. The grandma's like, I know someone who can cleanse this house. Ugh. Excuse me. The grandma has someone come and cleanse this house. When the house gets cleansed, a person, like a priest, comes over and they say stuff from the Bible and they're waving around sage. They're sprinkling holy water in every room. The whole family was there when this happened. So this is what went down when they cleansed the house. The man started by saying the house was super evil. He felt so many bad spirits in here and he could just feel the negative energy. And then once he started cleansing the house, they said it felt like an earthquake. The house was shaking. Things were flying across the house. Vases were broken, pictures flying down hallways. It looked like a tornado hit the house. And once the priest is done cleansing it, the house stops shaking. It seems normal, right? Everything was normal for a few more months. For the few more months, a good three months, everything was normal. There was no ghosts. They were having a perfect life. School started back up. So as school started back up, things got a little bit more weird, but it wasn't to the extent of bruises, scratches. They just heard small noises. So throughout the day, the mom went to work, the two kids went to school, and the grandma was just home alone. She said she heard men running around upstairs and she didn't go up there. She knew it was a ghost. She knew because the grandma is more into like spiritualness and ghosts and stuff. She was like, that's a ghost. And she stayed up downstairs until the mom and the kids got home. The mom and kids get home at the same exact time because the mom picks the two kids up from school, actually. But the grandma explains everything, and so they go upstairs, and every single room upstairs had been trashed. The, everything has been flipped upside down. The bed has been ripped apart. These are things that humans wouldn't normally do and couldn't do. The windows were still locked. They had an alarm system, so they could tell when the windows were open and when they weren't. The, none of the windows were open. No one had ever came downstairs. And this house does have an attic, but it's not like a ha attic that you can go to. It's more of an attic that's just there. And if you go on top of the attic, you'll kind of fall through the ceiling. That's kind of how it's made. That's how a lot of Kansas City houses are actually made. But they go upstairs and it's been trashed. And this was the mom's last straw. So the mom said, okay, we're moving. They left the house. And when they left the house, they didn't even pick up and take anything with them. They owned that house, actually. They just moved into a different house. They hired someone to go in there inside of it and paint it because they were going to sell it. And the painter said that it was so creepy in there and they heard men talking and they heard demons and things and people walking inside of it. So it's a haunted house now in Kansas City. Do you guys want me to do a vlog of me going to this haunted house in Kansas City? I most likely am not going to go. I'm scared of ghosts. I'm terrified of literally anything spiritual. Like, I'm not going to do this. Let me know if you guys want more ASMR videos. I actually enjoyed this ASMR video. It was very calming. I talked to my calming voice. I'm not like screaming. I feel very relaxed. Like I feel like I can just go take a nap now. Thank you so much for watching my video. My name is Kyan Dwayne King. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kyan Dwayne King. I have a video coming out on Monday and I'm reacting to Chung Ha's new single. Then Wednesday I'm going to be reacting to G Idol's new comeback. And then on Friday I will be releasing my nuclear noodle challenge. So stay tuned and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!